have I got a treat for you? We've got a few summer treat ideas from PetMD.com and tried out three positively pleasing and palatable popsicles on two very tough judges, Bonkers and Lola. First up, watermelon and ginger popsicles. We're going to start off with a seedless watermelon. About five cups will do. We're going to use fresh ginger root today, but of course, if you're short on time, you can just buy it pre-minced. Just enough to give a slight kick. The ginger settles yucky tummies, while the watermelon's high water content keeps your pup hydrated. Freeze overnight and they're ready to go. Let's see what the pups think of this. Lesson learned. Serve these treats outside because they do make a mess. I think that's a winner. Next, peanut butter and yoghurt popsicles. I'm going to put in about two tablespoons. And I've chosen to give my pups Greek yoghurt. Top it off with some lovely creamy peanut butter. Don't use sugar-free ingredients. They contain sugar alcohols that are highly toxic to dogs. Yogurt has good bacteria for your dog's digestive tract. And the peanut butter is a good source of protein and healthy fats. Come on, girls. Come get it. Bonkers went bonkers for it. But Lola could leave it. Finally, wet food popsicles. Just a couple of tablespoons of your dog's favourite canned food makes for a wonderful frozen treat. We're going to pop one of these right in the middle there, and that's the stick. Just remember to decrease the amount of food you usually give them at feeding time to account for the calories in the pop. Do you like that? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Dog tested, dog approved. Recipes can be found on thelisttv.com. Keeping man's best friend cool with popsicles is what's on the to-do list.